Hi Libra, thank you so much for taking time out to tune in. Libra, this is your general energy reading for November 1st through the 16th, 2018. You guys hear me say it all the time, general energy will not resonate with everyone every single time. That being said, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos, Libra. Sun, moon, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Rising signs. Thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you for all of your thumbs up and showing me love on the videos with the, those thumbs up and the positive high vibration comments. I truly appreciate that. So November 1st through the 16th Libras. I know you guys have seen me using the Tarot of the Dead, but since this is Day of the Dead, we're going to continue using um, Tarot of the Dead and the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed for the general energy readings. When we get to the relationship portion, we'll be using Whispers of Love and the Santa Huerta Tarot. Book of the Dead, because like I said, this is Dia de los Muertos, time of the year. And if you need to know how to find me, that's how you find me. Libra, 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 Libra. In the high vibration of love and light, please give me positive insight for Libra. What energy is around Libra from November 1st, the 16th, and what do they need to know about that energy? And we got why. Why? Card 31. So let's see what it says because it's why. <laughs> so why would we not look up what why means? Because we all want to know what why means. Motives driving intention. The power of knowing the why. There is a great power and understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice, knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it in your intention, will then be a magnet for miracles, motives, defining the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. Which, this is so true, Libras. You guys think, over feel. You're an air sign. Come on, focus. So this is important for you. This invisible why is the life force, force energy. Why don't I ever put on my glasses? Within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Wow. Libras. Why are you asking this question? Why are you doing what you're doing? What is your purpose? And how will this benefit your vibration? Are you doing this? Are you treating others in a high vibration manner with your action? Are you being true? What are your motives behind the question why? Libras, Libras, Libras.
so we have the double the only, <laughs> and on both sides we have swords you guys air signs so in this deck it's pistols here so your own thoughts versus your feelings are trapping you that's what you're trapped by now you're allowing yourself right now to be trapped by your thoughts versus your your feelings here it's time for you to take another like I feel I feel like you need to take another hard look at choices you've made why you've made them and what you learned from them so that you can then make new choices better choices better yourself better your situation better your life better your friendships all of this from really just looking back upon this lesson because it feels like you've learned a lesson here and now you need to take this information and figure out how to make yourself better it feels like you're you stuck in thought stuck in thought stuck in thought stuck in thought when you should be feeling feeling not just thinking all right so how can we help Libra there we go so we know you need to find your harmony but how can we help whoa Libra find their harmony Okay, we're not using any of those. <laughs> the card that I did decide to keep is the Two of Coffins. And we'll use that Ace of Coffins as well. So for you to be able to move forward and to release this self, obviously we're seeing more emotions here, emotions, emotions, emotions. We know you need to find harmony. We know you need to be able to access this kind of connection between thought and feeling. It's like you need to, you know, kind of like when you're learning to speak a, another language, okay? You, you need to rhyme the word in the foreign language with a rhyme with rhyme it with a word in English to help you remember how it's pronounced okay god what is that called I cannot think of what that's called when you just it's like you need to set up cues here to remind you to feel when I see this you know when I see a question mark when I see the number 31 I'm gonna real I'm gonna remember or the number four, because three plus one is four, I'll remember. So if it's 431, I'm being reminded not just to think, but to feel. It just, it feels like for you to get through this where you're able to finally release the power of overthinking, you're going to have to relate it to some sort of emotion. You're going to have to be able to make a commitment to, to yourself that harmony above all is your goal right now, Libras. This is the thing about harmony is you have to find compromise within harmony. You have to give, not just take to find harmony. So what is it in your relationships that with your coworkers, with your spouse, with your parents, with your kids, with your friends, what yourself that you can compromise? And what is it that you cannot compromise? For instance, your relationship with yourself, you cannot compromise on your integrity. The relationship with your spouse, you know, what are you willing to compromise on and what are you willing to give up and what are you willing to receive? Are you willing to, are you loving yourself enough to receive what you deserve 
or are you pushing away the love that you deserve back back and not wanting to receive it is this why maybe you're not in a relationship because you don't realize that you deserve to receive love so you just keep thinking I don't I'm not worthy of this I'm not worthy of this I'm not worthy of this and you push love away emotion you're convinced yourself here that you're not worthy of something I feel like and it's time for you to stop thinking that way and allow yourself to love yourself to accept yourself and to to let harmony in and I think that the simplest way is with affirmations to start it, you know I deserve harmony I deserve harmony I deserve harmony I deserve harmony I am harmonious I am harmonious I am harmonious my energy is harmonious my energy is harmonious you know say these things every night as you're falling to sleep find a harmony a harmonious affirmation video on YouTube make an affirmation recording and listen to it it's been scientifically proven our brains are active for the first hour we're asleep make it an hour long play it for yourself as you're going to sleep repeat it in the car ride on your way to work say it in the shower but start changing your energy that way and then you will find that everything else will just fall in maybe you'll see 31's maybe you'll see 4's maybe you'll see feathers because see how there's feathers in the book maybe you'll notice question marks and these are all things that are going to remind you to let yourself feel your emotions not just your thoughts and this is how you get going this is the cameras uh, all messed up again so just faded out this is how you're gonna get going again this is how you're going to make this um, don't worry guys I'm fixing the camera all right finally okay Relationships, relationships, relationships. Actually, I want that one. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. I feel like honesty with yourself is extremely important for you. Honesty with what you want from somebody else in a relationship is extremely important. Whether you are in a committed relationship with them sexually or marriage, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, if this is a relationship with a business partner um, or whatever this kind of relationship is, family member, friend, honesty is essential. Thank you. We got another seven. Okay. So the reason you're having trouble being honest in your relationships is because of pain here. Um, all you can think about is how bad somebody's hurt you and you're having a hard time opening up back to them um, because other people have hurt you. You are now hurting other people here and it's just this cycle, 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 cycle. You hurt me, I hurt you. You hurt me, I hurt you. And there is this, it's just causing this confusion all the time in this, you need, you need to break this cycle. Thank you. Yep. 
you need to break the cycle here, this desire for emotional change. You just feel stuck in your relationships, like you're not moving forward, you're not gaining any. Um, perhaps you've recently lost some relationships here because you were unable to be honest within the relationship. Possibly um, a relationship with a water sign or water signs. So Scorpios, um, Cancers, Pisces that you've lost relationships with here. Uh, I feel like, you know, you can regain these relationships here if you actually were to be honest and open here and say what you really felt you to make these repairs. <sighs> okay. Courage, 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 courage. It's just about finding the courage to be open and honest with yourself about what you want your relationships to be. Open and honest with the other signs about what you want your relationships to be with them. And breaking the cycle of this constant turmoil around and around and around with pain. You're so afraid. Some of you are so afraid to get into a relationship. All right, we're not getting any more cards here. No, nope, we're not reading all those. Okay, guys, Libras, you know, it just, it feels like there's a lot of thinking and a not enough feeling here. So you need to change your vibe. Please, you know, do the affirmations. Open up to the possibilities of feeling better about yourself, feeling better about what you're capable of, feeling better about what you're able to accept as well as offer in a relationship. And that you deserve to have a harmonious flow to your life. And by doing this, then everything else just kind of starts falling into place. But it does feel like that it needs to start with conversation and that it needs to be a strong emotional heartfelt conversation here to be able to get out of five of the cards three of them were cups and we saw this here you know it just feels like you can keep things in a pleasant happy manner Taking baby steps to focus on your vibration, focus on your inner harmony, focus on your inner happiness, and then it just comes out of your pores. They'll start oozing out of your pores and out of your aura, into your aura, and you will start being enveloped by the fact, by the truth that you're speaking, and that is that you deserve to be a harmonious soul and to have love and that you deserve to share this love and to stop holding yourself back. It, you know, it's almost like once you start getting close to people, you have to cut them out of your life. You're in this cycle of cutting them out. And no, that needs to stop. It needs to stop. That's not for everybody, but it does feel that way for some people. Um, but this you hurt me i hurt you you hurt me i hurt you loop no that needs to stop i do feel um like fmt is important for some of you family marriage therapists so if you're unable to break this cycle yourself or if you've been in the cycle for a long time reach out to a family marriage therapist and do couples counseling or family counseling or even self counseling you know individual counseling here but again, I really feel like this change begins with you reciting affirmations and just loving yourself and being grateful and realizing that I am grateful for myself and I love myself and I deserve to be happy and I deserve to find my harmony. Libra, this is a growth period here for this couple weeks. It is all about growing and just becoming a better version of yourself so yay of course growing hurts but it's still yay for the end thank you so much guys for watching i appreciate you